Hi guys, Adventurous Allotment here. here. Um, I'm here on my allotment by my strawberry tree, but that's not what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, I'm talking about what's growing below the strawberry tree here. These are uh, Fissilis, but they're not um, they're not your Fissilis Peruviana, which are more commonly grown for fruit, um, and they very much taste nice. I can guarantee that. That's uh, something that I uh, have tried before, and I really enjoyed it. This now, this is a Fissilis alkengii, and well, it's often grown as an ornamental, and people don't often grow it for fruit. In fact, some people think it's toxic, so um, no one really, uh, not many people grow it for fruit. However, I'm here to tell you that you can grow it for fruit. You just have to make sure that it's ripe, um, the fruit is ready. Uh, but that's the same with Peruviana, so it's no, uh, it's not exactly a, a big surprise. But yeah. So like all these little plants here are Fissilis alkengii, um, I think they were seeds, I grew them from seed and I put these in a while back. They do tend to get attacked by the snail somewhat, the slugs, but this year they seem to have largely sort of got away with it. Um, there's no flowers on these yet, but there is one that was under this uh, strawberry tree that has made a beeline for the sky and uh, it's this one. And the great thing about this one is yeah, it's flowering as you can see just behind this leaf yeah it's got its first flower um, and that means that there should be some fruit following it um, I think all Fissilis are self fertile so they should uh, have no problem de developing some kind of fruit uh, yeah very interesting plant anyway um, uh, some people argue that, that the Fissilis alkengii tastes just as good as the Fissilis peruviana. Um, I've never tasted alkengii, but I'll take the word for it. And this is partly the reason why I'm growing it, because I did watch a few videos and people said, hey, these are edible. And more than edible, they're actually quite nice. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll try it. Yeah, just thought I'd show you this. This is my Fissilis alkengii. That's the Fissilis with the orange lanterns on that people grow for decorative purposes. The fruit is edible, but only when ready. Remember that with Fissilis, if it's unripe, it is a little bit toxic. So, um, yeah, this one should be good. I'll have the nice, uh, hopefully I'll have the nice orange lanterns, and then when the orange lanterns fade, I'll have some edible fruit. And, uh, yeah, we'll see. So I'll come back to that in the future. This is, uh, so, Fissilis alkengii, this plant that I'm holding here. Yeah, it's an, it's a, it looks very like Peruviana in a way, but yes. So yeah, I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd give you a video on that. I thought you might be interested. Um, please like this, please like this if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment if you ever tried Fissilis alkengii. Um, no doubt people have tried Peruviana, but yeah, I wonder how many people have actually tried Alkengii. That'll be interesting. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video again. I'll see you next time. Take care.